Hi guys, how's it going? So I wanted to do this video because I was sitting in church today and I had this profound feeling that I needed to do something. You know, I needed to reach out to someone. I've seen a lot of testimonial videos of, of Christians and it's a, a lot of times when they're a lot further along in their Christianity. And for me, I am just a baby believer. And this is the beginning of my journey. And I thought that maybe if I posted this, made this video, maybe it would help someone. Maybe it would help someone who has a lot of the same questions that I did and that felt a lot of the same ways that I did. And maybe it will just sort of help you and guide you to a place of being comfortable enough to walk into a church or comfortable enough to pray or comfortable enough to become a Christian. So I just wanted to sort of share my story with you a little bit and I will try to be as brief as possible. <laughs> um, you know, I was always one of those per those people that felt like, yeah, sure, I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. And it reminds me of this story. Um, oh, a few years ago, I was no, quite a few years ago at this point, I was living in Tampa and, you know, I was always searching for something. Like I, I knew that I wanted to be a believer. I knew that I wanted to believe in God and I wanted to go to church and worship. And, and I felt all of those things, but I, I never put in the time or the energy. And, you know, I mean, to have a good relationship with anyone, a friend, a spouse, there's a lot of time and energy that goes into that. And so how can I have a relationship with God, how can I call myself a Christian if I don't put anything into that relationship? And so when I was living in Tampa, I found a church and, and I really liked it. And I remember just sitting in church and tears started streaming down my face. And I just, I couldn't even explain it. I didn't know why it was happening. I, I just, I just needed to cry and it, was a, such a powerful moment for me. And, you know, I said, I need, a, I need a Bible. And so I went to this bookstore, and a Christian bookstore. And I, you know, I was nervous and, and I'm uncomfortable. You know, this is kind of my first time really doing this. And so, you know, I kind of want to get in, get my book and get out, you know, no questions asked, just head down, that's it. Well, of course I walk in and the sales associate comes up to me and says, have you been saved? And I was kind of taken aback. And this was the first time I've ever been asked this question. Have I been saved? Well, yeah, I mean, sure. I believe in God. I believe in heaven. I mean, I was baptized. So yeah, sure. I was saved. Anyway, I asked her where the Bibles were, got my book, got out. I went on the road with WWE for a while and, um, you know, that sort of want to be a Christian sort of went by the wayside. You know, that was a lifestyle that was, you know, I've lived in, in a regular world and I've lived in entertainment world and, and there's temptation in both, but there is something about being on the road and, and living that sort of life and the party lifestyle that you are tempted tenfold. I mean, there is just so much temptation. And, and, you know, I lived in sin. I was not a good person. I can say that I'm ashamed of who I was in a lot of ways and, and the decisions that I made. And, and it's because I wasn't a Christian. You know, I lived in sin. And a lot of times I thought, how am I going to be a Christian? How, how can I be accepted by God? I have done awful things. I have not lived as a Christian, I have lived as a sinner. And what I didn't understand about being saved was that I could be forgiven. I could, I could truly be forgiven for all of the bad things that I've done. I could be forgiven. You know, I, I will tell you that the moment that I truly feel and believe that I was saved. All these years of thinking, oh sure, I'm a Christian. Yeah, sure, I'm going to heaven. I believe that heaven's there. I'm going there. I was speaking with a Christian counselor in June. 
and he asked me the same question that the sales associate did. Are you saved? Again, I gave the same answer. Yeah, sure. I believe in God and, and I believe in heaven and yeah. And it was then that he said, well, that's great, but being a Christian means that you believe in Jesus. You believe that he died on the cross, that he died for our sins, that he was resurrected, that he's going to come again. That is your ticket to heaven. That is your ticket to the kingdom. And it registered, you know, it, it was something that I don't know that I'd heard before, or if I heard it before, I didn't truly hear it. And it was a couple of days that it sat with me and I, I got this urge that I needed to go to church. I, I needed to really open a Bible. I really needed to delve into this because all this time I thought I was a Christian and I wasn't. And I remember I was driving and my daughter was in the back seat and I had this powerful, overwhelming feeling that came over me that somebody died. Jesus Christ died. God sent Jesus to die for our sins. I mean, we're not, we're not talking about somebody who just, yeah, sure. Hey, you're forgiven. We're talking about somebody who suffered, who died so that we could be forgiven. The heaviness of that came upon me. And I went to church that next week and, and my pastor was talking about the same thing, the exact same thing. I mean, if God wasn't trying to talk to me, then I don't know anything because that was so God reaching to me and saying, understand this, Taryn, understand this. This is what makes you a Christian. This is what gets you there. Not by doing good works, which is great, but not by just saying, yeah, sure, I believe. But do you really, truly feel it? Do you really, truly believe? And look, this is the beginning of my journey. This, this is me, an infant Christian, coming to you because I was just so recently on the other side, wondering, what does all this mean? Am I going to heaven? Do I really need to have this personal relationship with God? Can I just be a good person and do good things? And isn't that enough? But it's not. It's not enough. You have to have that relationship. So I just wanted to reach out. I just wanted to hopefully, you know, maybe there's someone out there that has those same questions and that thought, yeah, sure, I believed, I was baptized and I, yeah, sure, I'm going to heaven, but aren't you searching? Don't you wanna know what it is that really will truly get you to heaven, to the kingdom, to the glory of God? Look, I don't know much. Like I said, I'm just in the process of beginning to be a Christian, but I am trying to grow and mature and grow in my relationship with Christ. And I just, I pray for, for you. I pray for me. I pray for my friends, my family, and all of you that are watching this. Please find your journey. And I just hope that this reaches you. I hope that, that maybe this sparks a fire inside of you and that you say, I've sinned and that you can come before God a sinner and you can be forgiven. I hope to continue to make these videos as I progress through my relationship with God and my Christianity and, and, and I just, I hope it helps, if it even helps one person. I know the amazing things it's done for me in such a short amount of time. And I wanna to continue to tell you about those wonderful, amazing things.
Thank you for taking the time to watch this. And I look forward to making more videos. God bless you. The Lord Jesus wants you to come to him just as you are. He wants you to come to him no matter what you have done in your life, no matter what mistakes you have made. He is kind, understanding and always forgiving. He cares very much about each one of us. Maybe you are unsure if you really have given your heart fully to the Lord Jesus. Maybe you would like to say yes to him for the very first time. Or maybe you would like to recommit your life to the Lord Jesus and start afresh today. The Bible says salvation is found in no one else. For there is no other name under heaven given to men by which we must be saved. The Bible also says, if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. If you'd like to hand your life to the Lord Jesus and put your hope and trust in him, then please repeat this prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, please hear my prayer. I know you gave your life for me and I know that you are alive today. Please forgive my sins. Come into my heart and make your home with me. Thank you for being my Lord and Saviour. Amen. Would you like to watch a Christian film word for word from the Bible? We have the Gospel of Matthew. Ask, and it will be given to you. The Gospel of John. That is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. The Gospel according to Saint Luke. And it came to pass while he blessed them, he was parted from them and carried up into heaven. And the Acts of the Apostles. Suddenly a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel.